Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of Know Your NMAT, we'll be looking at the questions which are related to NMAT. It's an exam which is really important for MBA aspirants, so therefore a lot of the questions here will be on logical reasoning. So today we'll be looking at some of these questions and how to solve them effectively. So let's look at our first question. The integers from 1 to 40 are written on the blackboard. The following operation is done repeated 39 times. In each repetition, any two numbers, say a and b, currently on the blackboard are erased and a new number a plus b minus 1 is written. What will be the number left on the blackboard at the end? Is it 780, 781, 819, 820, or 821? So, obviously, the number left is what is basically referring to the sum of the integers that are left on the blackboard. So, basically, we would need to um, uh, sum up the integers on the blackboard at the end. So, how do we do that? Let's look at the operation itself. So we have 1, 2, 3, up to 40. And what we're doing is we're taking any two numbers, a and b, remove them, and then we add a new number, which is called a plus b minus 1. So say we remove 1 and 2. What we add here is 1 plus 2, which is 3 minus 1, which is 2. So as you can see, if you were to sum up all of the integers on the numbers, I mean, sum up all the integers on the blackboard, and then undertake this operation, the total sum reduces by 1 in every repetition. So it, at the final stage, you would have repeated this operation 39 times. So a total of 39 would be removed from the sum of the integers 1 to 40. So basically, we need to find out this answer, which will be the number left on the board at the end. So we have n integers here. So therefore, their sum will now turn out to be n over n times n plus 1 over 2. So for this particular case, it will be 40 times 41 over 2 minus 39. This will be the value of, of the answer. So 2 goes into 40 20 times. Um, so 41 times 20 gives you 820 minus 39. If you were to subtract that, so 10 minus 9 is 1, 11 minus 3 is 8, and then you have 7 at the end. So therefore, option B, 781, turns out to be the right answer. So it's a good idea to look read the question multiple times in order to get the essence of the question. For instance, the integers are added already, so it's their sum that we will be asking at the end. And then we need to find out how the repetition occurs and use examples for it in order to understand if there's any change in value as the repetition, as the operation is repeated. So as you can see, option B 781 is the right option. Now, let's look at another question for today. How many four-digit numbers of the form AB61 are there that are divisible by 11? Now here we look, we're here we are particular that a and b are distinct digits. So the condition given is that we have a four digit number AB61 where a and b are any distinct digits. We need to find out how many of these four digit number forms are there which are divisible by 11. So how do we solve this question? The main important part of the question is divisible by 11. So let's look at how we check for divisibility of 11. Now for divisibility of 11, it's the following condition that we should use. 
difference of the sum of alternate digits should be a multiple of 11. So, for example, if we had 1331, three, one, so we have 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 1 is 4, so the remainder, so the s difference is 0, and 0 is a multiple of 11, because 11 times 0 is 0. So that's how we are checking for the divisibility of 11. So the number that we have is AB61. So let's assume that this number is divisible by 11. That means A plus 6 subtracted with B plus 1 gives you a multiple of 11. So when we remove the brackets, we get A minus B plus 6 minus 1 equals 11x. 6 minus 1 is 5. We take 5 to the right-hand side. So the difference between A and B is 11x minus 5. So when x is 0, a minus b is equal to minus 5. So there is a difference of 5 between a and b. So let's look at the digits that we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Putting a 0 doesn't work because we're checking for four-digit numbers, and if you put a 0 at the start, you get a three-digit number. Now, <coughs> the fifth digit from 1 is 6. The fifth digit from 2 is 7. The fifth digit from 3 is 8. And the fifth digit from 4 is 9. So basically, the pairs 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, and 4, 9 are the four pairs, which, when we put with AB61, makes it divisible by 11. So therefore, option B, 4, turns out to be the right option. Now you can verify this by um, checking out the pairs. You can put 1661, 2761, 3861, and 4991. So that's how we solve for this particular question. So here, we're looking for the divisibility test for 11. We apply that. Uh, with the digit, with the form of the number that's given, and then we find out that the relation between a and b among the nine digits, and then we find out the correct pairs. So if we have four correct pairs, then there are four distinct four-digit numbers of the form AB61 which are divisible by 11. So that concludes this episode of Know Your N Maths. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon present below the video. So, until the next webisode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.